Hey, I'm Theo McInnes. I'm a London-based documentary and portrait photographer. I'm gonna show you how to develop black and white negatives at home. I've been shooting a documentary project in Kennington Park whilst this uh, crazy lockdown's going on. It's a common misconception that you need a dark room and loads and loads of fancy kit to develop negatives. But actually, it's really, really simple. First up is your developer. Does exactly what it says on the tin. It's called Rodinol. Next up is your stop. This is gonna stop the film from developing any further. You've got your fixer, which is gonna fix the film. So once all the chemicals are passed through it, this is gonna stop the reactive process on the actual film reacting to light. And then this stuff, which is a wetting agent. We'll use this right at the end, and this basically is just like a soap to clean the film and stop any dirty watermarks on it. Next up is your dark bag. Does exactly what it says in the tin. It's a bag that stops any light from getting in. Your other bits you're gonna need, a thermometer to get your developer at the right temperature, a couple of measuring cylinders, and a pipette as well so you can be precise. And then this, which is your film tank. Today I'm going to be uh, using medium format negatives, um, but you can use 35mm as well, it's exactly the same process. You can't let any light get on this film, but for the ease of this video, so you're not just watching me with my hands in the bag and don't know what the hell I'm doing, I'm going to use an old roll of film, and again, do not do this in daylight, do it inside a bag. So. We're removing the film from the backing paper, there'll be loads of it, and you'll feel the film there in your hand. We'll remove that from there, get rid of all this horrible backing paper, there'll be a bit of tape on the edge of the film which you need to remove. You're going to get your spool and you're going to find these two grooves here with two ball bearings either side of them. You're going to match up your grooves, you're going to get your film, and you're going to feed your film in underneath those grooves like that and just pull them round so they go just beyond the ball bearing and then what you're going to do is you're just going to hold the film away with your fingers and you're just going to turn this. This is by far the most annoying bit because the film sometimes gets stuck and kinks you've just got to be really delicate with it and really patient with it. But in theory the film should go on like that. You get that, you put it on the column, you're putting that in there, you're getting your lid you're twisting it on, and now you're good to bring this out of your bag because this is completely light sealed. I've pre-mixed the developer in this uh, measuring jug. This stuff, the Rodanol, it's very diluted. So for every 100 mils of water, I only need one mil of this. To cover medium format negatives, you need 500 milliliters of water. So I've done 600 just to be safe, a little bit extra. So in here I've got 600 milliliters of water and six mils of the developer. This developer needs the water to be at 20 degrees. So I've just run hot and cold water out of my tap and used my thermometer until I've got it at the right temperature. And then once you've got that in, you're gonna put your lid on and we're gonna do something called agitation. You're gonna do this for the first 30 seconds. So once you've done that for 30 seconds, give it a good tap. That's gonna remove any air bubbles. Now we're gonna leave this for half an hour. In half an hour's time, we're gonna come back, give it a quick one-two to wake up the developer and leave it for another half an hour. So the negative should be nicely developed now. So we're gonna get rid of the developer. So next chemical is the stop. This is gonna stop the developer from working anymore on the film. I've pre-mixed this and diluted it with some water. The instructions on the measurements you'll need will be on the bottle. Um, and the great thing about this stuff is it lasts for about a week after you've mixed it up and you can reuse it. The first 30 seconds, you're going to do rotations. And then after that, you're going to leave it for another 30 seconds because the stop only takes a minute. So we've had the stop in there for a minute now. If you've got a funnel kicking around handy like this one. You're going to pour that stop back in the container. And yeah, as I said, it lasts for about a week. Now we go on to the third chemical, which is the fixer. Again, I've mixed it with some water. How much we need to dilute it by will be um, instructed on 
the bottle. So we're pouring that in there. Again, I've measured out 600 milliliters of this, so it covers all of the negative. And again, first 30 seconds, you're gonna give it agitation. And then after the first 30 seconds, you're gonna leave it for 30 seconds, and then give it two agitations. Leave it for another 30 seconds, give it two agitations, and repeat that until you get to the five minute mark. And now all of the main chemistry has gone through the tank. So what I'm doing now is we're washing the negatives with water. You're gonna leave that running at kind of a lukewarm temperature, it doesn't matter too much, for 20 minutes. And that's just gonna wash all the chemicals off the negatives. So we'll come back in 20 minutes and we'll do the final step. I've got a little pipette's worth, a couple of mils, of my wetting agent, which is the soapy stuff that I mentioned. I'm gonna unscrew this. Keep a bit of water in there. Squirt in your wetting agent. Give it a little jiggle and you can see it's starting to foam and froth up a little bit. And then you're ready to take your negatives out and check the results. Get your fingers on it and just run it down them a couple of times to get off any excess water. And then you're good to hang them and dry them. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial today and it's been relatively straightforward and you can now start developing your negatives at home. I'm going to scan these in, um, but hopefully once you've got your own negatives you can go get them printed once the labs reopen uh, in London. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see any more of the Kennington Park project, check it out on huckmag.com or on my Instagram at Theo McInnes.